everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So today is Booklist Thursday and Booklist Thursday is something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of book thoughts, ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. Um, and at the beginning of summer we did, which I'll show you my cheat sheet, we gave everybody a Booklist Thursday summertime bingo challenge and it was just meant to be fun. Um, give you some prompts and ideas of what kind of books to complete over the summer. I don't know, have fun with it. Um, and oh my gosh, a whole bunch of you guys did this, which is super exciting. I loved seeing them on Instagram. I loved everybody working on completing bingos and whatnot. So fun. So I actually had this in my planner when I was planning. I don't really do TBR videos anymore, but it doesn't mean I don't come up with TBRs or help pick next books. And so I did use this. I didn't quite get a blackout like I wanted to. There was a few spaces I didn't complete, but for the most part, I did almost all of them. So the ones I didn't get to was a book with stars on the cover, um, a book, oh no, I did a book with flowers on the cover, um, a book that's been adapted to a movie or TV show. I didn't do that one. I'm pretty sure that was everything else I got. So it was really just the two. So no big deal. Um, but I wanted to show you a few of the books that I did read for what prompts we got. Um, I found a book I absolutely loved and didn't expect to love it. Um, and some that kind of disappointed me, but we're still fine. Overall, it was a really great, fun thing to do. So um, let us know if we should continue this. What did you guys think? Did you have fun with it? I think it was good. So, and you can find all kinds of bingo challenges, but I really did like it that it was the entire summer you had to do this. Um, was one of my favorite parts. So, uh, first prompt, I guess you could say, was a five-star prediction. Which I have some of the books here. Um, and that was Last Year of the War by Susan Meisner. I thought for sure this was gonna be five stars. So this follows two girls who were both in internment camps in the United States. One was um, had Japanese heritage, the other had German heritage, um, and the friendship that they made while they were there. Dual timeline, so then you have present day when they're older and they're trying to reconnect, and so you're trying to figure out what exactly happened with them. Um, Susan Meisner, love her, still love her, just not one of my favorites from her. Definitely a solid historical fiction read, but just not blow my mind. It was a little slow in parts, um, but still, if you're a Susan Meisner fan, I would say still pick this one up. Um, next one was a backlist book. I honestly can't remember what I used for that. I think I doubled up on, oh, I also doubled up on prompts. You bet I did. <laughs> um, I did a try a chapter challenge. I did that with my, um, Amazon recommend email that I got from them from their Kindle Unlimited books. And I did try a chapter and like want to read all of them. I read outside, uh, books with stars on the cover. I didn't get to recommendation of a fate from a favorite creator. Uh, which one was that? Oh, that was um, Perfume from Krista. No, that wouldn't have been a recommendation. Because she went to read that book. I don't remember what I did for that one. Hmm. Um, try a new to me author. I read a The Book of Lost Names by Kristen Harmel. This is not that book. I don't know where it is. I think I lent it to a friend. Um, but my first Kristen Harmel book and will not be my last because I loved that book. Wasn't like a five star blow me away. It was a little too like everything ended up perfectly in the book and it was a World War II historical fiction about a young girl kind of working with the resistance and like nothing ever went wrong. Everything went perfectly for her, which was really hard to believe. Um, but overall, I would read another Kristen Harmel absolutely which I think good thing because you know I have one a uh, book with a summer buzzword in the title I would say that was meet me in paradise um, that one also has flowers on the cover so it counted for two prompts for me I was so surprised and how much I loved this book uh, it follows two sisters, one who is more of a homebody, more of the responsible, takes care of everything, and then the other sister who kind of goes off gallivanting in the world as this journalist. Um, so they decide to have a sister trip, and the one that goes off gallivanting in the world kind of ditches the other one and makes her go and explore and get out of her comfort zone. 
really, really enjoyed the book. Highly recommend. It's a book outlet book. I probably picked up just off of chance and it blew me away. It's fantastic. Another prop read a read with a cocktail or mocktail. Check. Uh, have a friend pick your next book. That one. Oh, that one was another one I didn't get done. Oops. Uh, read a 2000 or 2022 release. I read Hide by Kirsten White. Mm, it was fine. I just wanted more. I mean, come on, abandoned theme park and a game. It could have been so good. Uh, next one, go to the library. Totally did that. Read a nonfiction book. I read Boys in the Boat, and by read, I mean listen to. Um, by Daniel James Brown. This was another five-star prediction. This is about the Americans from Washington who basically went on a quest for gold in the 1936 Berlin Olympics and won and what they went through and how it was like they were seriously the underdogs, but it was fantastic. Um, let's see. Good job adulting, time to read. Yep, got that square. <laughs> a book from your favorite genre. I read a couple thrillers, I read some historical fictions. A couple at number nine was probably the one I put down for this one, what was another newer release about um, a couple who moves into her grandmother's like cottage house she didn't really know she had. And a couple bodies are discovered when they're doing some renovations and the mystery behind it. So that one I really enjoyed. A uh, book with water on the cover, uh, Something in the Water by Katherine Stedman. This one surprised me on how much I really enjoyed it. It was a couple that's on their honeymoon and they go scuba diving and find something in the water. And it just goes from there. Um, and the first chapter of this book is fantastic. I even want to say like the first line in this book is fantastic. Have you ever wondered how long it takes to dig a grave? Wonder no longer, it takes an age. However long you think it takes, double that. That's how we start out in this book. So fantastic, loved it. So that was my surprise. Uh, check out a new booktuber Instagram account. Definitely found some amazing booktube accounts from the reading retreat we did, as well as my friend Amber just started a new booktube account called Books and Beaches. It's down below, you gotta check her out. Um, book with three different colors on the cover. I mean, pick any of the ones I showed you. Well, that was easy. A book adapted to a movie or TV. Didn't do that one. Uh, read a book by one of Lindsay or Sarah's favorite authors. I read Jennifer McMahon's Island of Lost Girls. This really disappointed. If you're a Jennifer McMahon fan, totally skip this one. It was just weird. And not like freaky weird, like I like her books to be. It was just weird, weird. Book by a favorite author. Probably would do, you know, Jennifer McMahon. Book with the words book or list in the title, also one I did not do. So I guess I missed a bunch. Book of Flowers on the cover I talked about, and then participate in reading sprints online or on your own. Totally hopped onto some of Krista's reading sprints, um, as well as did a few of my own when I could. I, I get so much done during a reading sprint, like when I can really be focused. Um, and then knowing that whatever things still need to get done, it's like, okay, in 15 minutes I'll do it, or 20 minutes we'll take care of it. But right now I just want, I just want to read. Um, so all in all, I did miss, what, three or four squares. So I didn't quite get a blackout, but I definitely got a couple of bingos. It was awesome. I loved having this as a little bit of a guide, especially when I'm sitting in front of my shelves, like mm, I don't even know what to pick next. Because of this bingo, I picked up something in the water and loved it, so. Let me know how you did on your bingo board below. Head over to Sarah's channel. I'm pretty sure she got a blackout. I feel like she got a blackout. But head over there, see how she did with her book list summertime bingo card. <laughs> Otherwise, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.